Hi everyone and welcome to Lake Lot Build. On today's episode, we will be covering how to design and order your IKEA kitchen. And we'll be going over the design that we used from IKEA for the lake house. Hi everybody, so welcome back to Lake Lot Build. This is Leslie, and today I'm just gonna walk you through how we designed and built our IKEA kitchen. It's a pretty simple process, but I just wanted to show you how we did it uh, on the website and give you some tips and pointers along the way. So the first way to get started is just to go to ikea.com, head over to go shopping. If you don't have an account with IKEA, definitely go ahead and just sign up for a family account. You do get some discounts and some specials, but really it allows you to save your designs and you're going to want to do that anyway. So just go ahead and make an account. Finding the kitchen planner I find is not really intuitive. So I'm going to show you how I get there. I go to rooms once you get to the main page and I go to kitchen and appliance. And once we're there under kitchen and appliance, you have to scroll all the way down to find the planner. And it'll actually take you to a separate web page. So here we find the IKEA kitchen planner, plan your kitchen. And eventually you're going to be using this, uh, this box here, book an appointment with a kitchen expert. You can do that online, which is what I did. But for now, we're going to go over to the IKEA kitchen planner. So you can see once you come over into the planner, it takes you to a different page. Now you're at kitchenplanner.ikea.com and you can create a new design or like me, you can go to your saved designs here. So I had several different designs. This is the design that I actually end up going with, but I had what I called an expensive kitchen design. The type of cabinets that I wanted had integrated handles. So they were a little more expensive. And then I had one design with dark cabinets, but we actually ended up going with this great design that you're gonna see in just a minute, or at least see the boxes that were delivered that we are getting ready to build the kitchen with. And here is my design. So we used a light birch, I think they call it ash, um, for our, for our uh, kitchen cabinet color. And those of you who have watched the videos, you know that we kind of have a dark charcoal color floor and white walls. So the IKEA Kitchen Planner allows you to do all of that, to actually select your wall color, your floor color, along with several everything other things. So I'll show you that now. So if we were going to create a design like you may be wanting to do, you click on the create a new design. Now it's pretty intuitive, the design portion of this, but there are some interesting things that you can do. It allows you to change the size of the room and also the configuration. So depending on the shape or layout of your actual kitchen room that is the walls in your kitchen you can lay it out in any kind of way that you would like the open room is nice if you have kind of a open living kitchen dining it will allow you to do that you can also change the length of the walls now one thing that is annoying to me is that this is done in inches so i always have to have my ruler out to try to figure out what is inches to feet um, but you can do that pretty easily it also allows you to change the ceiling height. So like in our kitchen, it's and, uh, it's 10 feet tall. And so you can change it to 120 to actually get the ceiling height, which allows you from this view to be able to fill those cabinets all the way from the floor to the ceiling. So once you've selected your room shape, you can add doors. If there's um, a door, you know, along um, maybe a side wall over here, maybe um, into a bedroom or a pantry or something like that. You can also add windows and um, several different selections there of different kinds of windows. Maybe I want one over my sink here. You can choose the flooring. So if you're going to have wood floors um, or plank floors or something like that. So if you're going to have wood floors or um, it can, you can choose tile. Maybe you have a satio tile or maybe kind of a standard porcelain. You can also select the wall color. So if you're gonna have maybe gray walls or light blue 
something like that. You can change the wall color in the room, the ceiling color. So you get the idea here. It's pretty easy to start designing your room right away. You can also add fixtures if uh, you know you know you've got some plumbing or um, some structures that you're going to have to work around. It will allow you to do that. But here's the fun part. So we get to the kitchen and we want to add kitchen cabinets. So you start with your selection of either base cabinets, 24 inches deep, which is standard counter depth or base cabinets of 15 inches deep. Now you might wanna do that if you're building an island, you could do 24s on one side and 15s on the other to create a lot of storage. It also has high cabinets. We used the high cabinets that were 90 inches high because we do have that tall ceiling. And there's lots of different selections here, but let's just go ahead and show you some so that you can see what's happening here. These cabinets uh, have doors and also have, um, let me get to a different view here, and also have the interior drawers so you can go along and look and see all the different options there. Now I've gone into a different view as you can see here. This is your 3D line view, then you have your 3D realistic view. It's easiest to place cabinets from this top down view in my opinion especially if you want to place an island we'll go ahead and place a sink here each box is one foot so it allows you to figure out your uh, space here across from different appliances so if i know um oops sorry it will flip and turn on you a little bit there we go so if I know I want a three foot walkway, then I can just count one, two, three, and I've got my sink placed there. So it's got the options for drawers or just regular um, shelves. You've got the high cabinets. And basically you just go through selecting the cabinets that you want and adding them as you go. So you can see here, I've just got a really small setup for us. You can orbit around the room to look in. You can get a little bit closer here, get it adjusted the way that you might like to. But the best feature or one of the best features that I really like about the IKEA kitchen is that you can change all of your door fronts at once. And this comes in really handy. So I would go ahead and build the cabinets out with whatever, you know, is preloaded, get the cabinet height, get the dimensions, get everything that you want together, and then go in here and you can start looking at color and looking at the different door fronts and it will change the design for you so that you can look at all of the different options and you can see it's changed it here for you as well. So if you think, well, yeah, I like that, but I'm not quite sure. Let's see, maybe this is the color I picked, this Askersund, but maybe let's try green. That's kind of hot right now. That seems to be a color that lots of people are gravitating to. Great. And so then I get my green cabinets. So you can see under the kitchen, change all at once. You can change uh, the fronts, the countertops, the legs and toe kicks. Ikea does have countertops and you can select those in several of the different options. Um, but we are going with um, solid surface. So if you did want to look at countertops though, there are lots of options and you can look at those. So let's head on back over to my design here. To open the kitchen doors, you can go cabinet by cabinet. So you can see on this side, it's set as a cabinet, but this is actually where our refrigerator is gonna go. And we purchased an Ikea refrigerator, specially designed to fit inside one of their cabinets and that uh, we had to work out with one of their service representatives. And then here, this cabinet has all of the drawers that open. And 
and then we have room for our oven and range here and then we have a dishwasher that's here on the end of the island it's going to go right here and so we had to work with the service representative to talk about panels and how we were going to be able to build that in so once you have your design and you're happy with your design you've got your toe kicks added um, you've thought about some cover panels because there's going to have to be a cover panel here you don't want to see the edge of the ikea cabinet you want it to match the wood or whatever front you've selected and so they have cover panels that will go here that starts getting confusing i don't even like to add the cover panels even though it will let you do that it's not great in the floor view or the 3d line view to try to add those panels it's very difficult so this is the time when i head over to ikea and i make that appointment like i talked to you earlier about um, with the design uh, person. So I called Ikea and we set up an appointment to speak via Zoom and I uploaded the kitchen design into an area of Ikea that they told me to go and upload my design. And then I actually sat on the phone with a very nice person from Ikea and she walked through my design and then sent me all of these drawings. So you can see here in this new design, she's included the cover panels and she's extended it 24 inches to allow for my dishwasher. She's also got cover panels here, here, each of these sides. And then while I was talking to, the, to her on the phone, I had told her that we had seen a design on Pinterest where you could build your own little cubby next to a cabinet because this is 48 inches this is only 30 inches so we've got some room here to build a little cubby to place brooms a mop you know maybe some cleaning supplies and so she added an additional cover panel here so that john could build out this area she also asked me specifically about measurements for the range the sink that we had and you can see here that she gives some um, some notes while she's walking through this here she's noted where she's added the cover panels she's also noted that the fridge goes here that it it uh, needs a different door than what was specced by ikea here she says fill our custom customer husband will create something so she noted uh yes we need a little filler pan this section was really helpful once we started constructing because we could see oh this is the cabinet with two drawers up top and two drawers down below these are all drawers this one's all shelves she also sent the shopping list and the shopping list has every item that ikea is going to pull and ship for this kitchen now you don't really need to know this but this is really important on their end that she had every single hinge every single door piece every bit of trim that she needed for our kitchen. So she's got all the cabinets numbered, all of the toe kicks, all of the legs, all of the cover panels. And our end kitchen ended up costing $5,160.99. That includes the custom refrigerator or the integrated refrigerator that was about $1,000. So we feel like we got a fantastic deal here at ikea so these diagrams were really helpful once all of the cabinets were in and we were able to actually start putting things together these were critical to help me remember oh that's right this one has a hidden drawer up above and then two drawers down below we have the toe kick the legs and the um everything that goes together with that. So oh, thanks for joining me and taking a look at this. Now let's head over to John at the house who is unboxing all of the cabinets as they arrive. The day has finally arrived. What am I talking about? Kitchen cabinets. And we are finally in a position we can start building cabinets. So, 
Now you guys want to see what the color is or the type of cabinet that we got. Here we go. That is it. Oh my God, I think the color with the dark floors is just gonna be divine. So like all these boxes, these are drawers, right? So that's a 30 inch drawer and that's a 24 inch drawer. Feet, that is the face of the island that goes like that. So there's two of them, right? And so, um, because the island is gonna be that big. These are the sides of the cabinets. So the cabinets will be, I think the interiors are probably white and then you put these on the edges and so uh, they'll match the doors. Uh, there's the sink. Um, there's the hangers for the hang the cabinets on the wall. So it's like a big puzzle. So let's go in here and I'll show you what I've started to break down. And uh, this is it. So we have more door faces. The actual cabinets themselves are here. There's a tall cabinet there. The other face uh, on the island is that one down over there. That is a refrigerator. European style, the refrigerator sits in the cabinet. The door front hooks to it, it's got sliders. So when it's closed, it looks like a full set of cabinets. You don't know it, that it's the refrigerator because right next to it is the pantry. Same kind of door, so it all looks the same. Oh my God, look at that, I'm so excited. So excited.